Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make 3D Fortnite thumbnails for completely free in 2020. To make these thumbnails, all you need to do is download this free online software called Blender 3D. And you also have to download a folder with the skins and guns so that you can make the thumbnails, obviously. But just before we get into the video, guys, if you are new, please consider subscribing. That would mean a lot to me. And like this video if it helps you out. But with that said guys, let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright guys, so to get Blender, all you need to do is go over to Google, search up Blender 3D, or just Blender, whatever you want. And it should come up with this website. You want to hit the download part. Come over here, choose whatever, soft, uh, whatever computer you have, whether that's Windows or Mac, anything like that. Press download blender and then it should download in the bottom left and then just wait for this to download. Alright guys, once it's downloaded, press the arrow and press show in folder. Then it will come up with this. You want to drag it out onto your desktop. Uh, I've already got it on my desktop from a minute ago. But yeah, drag it out onto your desktop and then with this, you want to open it up. Just double click. Press next and agree and all the other stuff. I'm not going to do that because I already have blender on my PC. But just make sure you download it properly, press all the things and accept it, and then open up Blender. Alright guys, so once you've downloaded it, open Blender, and it will come up with this. Just press general and get rid of that. You can just drag over it and press delete. Okay, so before we can get the Fortnite characters in, you need to go down into the description. And on the first line of the description, there'll be a link to the folder where you can download all the characters and guns and everything you'll need to make these thumbnails. So make sure you go download those first, otherwise you won't be able to do any of the other steps. Okay, so before we put the characters in, we need to do the settings. So up in the top right, you want to press this semicircle type thing. Press on that. That will make it so our things are textured when we bring them into the software. Then down here, press the camera. Press EV, change it to cycles. And then press the CPU and change it to GPU compute. After that, come down here to film. Press transparent and tick that box. Then come over to this images section and scroll all the way down and press denoising. That is it for the settings guys. Now all we need to do is bring the characters in and position them how we want them. Alright guys, so after you've downloaded Blender and you've done all your settings in Blender and you've got the folder with all the skins in, what you need to do is to go up to the top left, press file, append, and then it will come up with this. Find where you saved the things, where you saved the models and stuff. And then go to characters and choose which character you want. I'm obviously going to do a sparkle specialist. So just find the character and then press in into it and then press object. Then once you're in object, just drag over everything that's in here and press append. And then it will bring it into the, into the editing thing so you can change it all. If you want, guys, you can like downscale it and make it the right size so that the camera and the light fits in it. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So what you can do is, if you press onto the bones, these little bone things, if you click on them, they'll turn orange. And then go up to the top left and press pose mode. This will make it so you can move them around. And we're going to rotate them. So you select the rotate tool and you can rotate whatever bone you've selected. And you can move them around. And you can move them up and down and stuff like this. Not that you want to do that because that just looks horrible. But you can rotate them and just get them to the position you want. If you want to add a gun, you go file, append. Then you go to where the guns are. So guns. Find what gun you want. Let's just go charge shotty. No, let's go. Let's do a drum gun. Press object. Select them and press append. And then the drum gun is down here. Obviously, you need to make it the right size to fit the character. But again, here's the drum gun. You can rotate it and do loads of different stuff to it to make it fit the character. So just reposition your character, make it how you want it. And then come back to this part of the video once you've got your character in the right position that you want it. Alright guys, I'm not actually going to do the like repositioning of the character because that will take too long. But I do already have like a few saved, so let me just show you those. If we go to character PNGs, I've already got a few here. So I'm just going to use one of these that I've already made before. And we're going to jump over into Photoshop. And we're going to make it like a cool background and stuff. So yeah, 
let's get into the Photoshop part. All right, guys, once you're on Photoshop, press Create New and then go to 1920 by 1080. That is the size of the thumbnails and press Create. Then once you're here, you need to get the character that you've just positioned. So I'm just going to choose, let's say, uh, let's do this Sparkle Specialist one holding a 60% keyboard. So find whichever one was yours. Get your character in the middle or wherever you want it. You can delete this background. And then what I've done in the past, I've got loads of screenshots of like Fortnite cinematics like this. So what I'm going to do is just choose one of these that fits the color of it. And I'm going to use that as the background. So drag that behind. And then we can blur the background. So if we go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And just turn that up or down to wherever you think is good. I'm going to go for a six. I think a six looks all right. Then what we can do is we can make a new layer in between the character and the background. Select a white brush. Make sure the hardness is all the way down. And then change it to luminosity. And put it down to 30%. That way, now that... That way we can draw around the outside of the character and give it a bit of a glow. And that should like help it stand out from the background a bit more as well. Go around the keyboard as well. Just make the whole character stand out. Alright, so now if we get rid of this, see like that difference just from doing that layer looks a bit better. You can do it if you want. It's not necessary, but personally I think it looks better. So now that you've got the main part of the thumbnail, the character and the background, if you want, guys, you can add some text or some like arena points or anything like that. I'm not actually going to use this as an actual thumbnail. I'm just going to add some random stuff. Like what can we add? Pretty sure I have some, some arena points thing somewhere. Yeah, so here I've got an arena points thing. I could just add this like in the background or something. Obviously it would look better than this if I was actually making one. But you can add whatever you want. You can add some arena points or some text or whatever you like really. You can add anything you like. Let's just put that there and then we can do some text like uh, practice thumbnail or something like that. I don't know, whatever you guys want. If you want to edit the text, what I do is I go to blending options and here I can do like stroke and gradient overlay and drop shadow stuff like that and yeah it looks like that obviously if I was taking the thumbnail seriously the finished product would look like this but I was just doing this one as a quick practice thing to show you guys what you can do and make your own thumbnails like that all right guys that is actually the end of the video here if this has helped you out or you've enjoyed it in any way then please smash the like button it is really appreciated Comment any other videos you want to see down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Rest in peace to the world as it end as we know it. Let this pull up and taking everyone to row it. He was at the top, take a look at who's in office. Sometimes I pray that it's too late to stop it. RPX, RP peep, RP Mac. You ain't having no relax. This shit got me tearing up. It's like it's one after another kill. Hurts me, but imagine how the mothers feel. Got me feeling like I never wanna pop another pill. Too many legends taking away.